and this week's Discovery Kids Online. Whether you're here with us in person or you're watching from home, we are so excited to have you with us. How are you doing? I hope you've had a really great week. Dan, what have you been up to? What's he up to? He's practicing those superhero strength powers. What? 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 Oh, invisibility. That's one of your superpowers, right? Not mind reading. Okay, good one. Yep. Yeah. What else have you got? Super strength. Very good. Wow, you really are a, a great superhero there, Dan. Well done. Well, it's funny you should be practicing those, Dan, because actually today's hero of the faith, he had some amazing superpowers. You know what? He was kind. He was generous. He was full of grace. He had loads of wisdom. And he had the power to perform miracles. That is some serious superpower. Oh, and his name was Stephen. But more about him and his life a little bit later on. We've got games, we've got worship, and we've got a quiz today, so make sure you are paying attention. But why don't we pray before we worship? Lord, we thank you so much for the opportunity to have Discovery Kids online, and that we're going to learn today about another hero of the faith, Stephen, and the incredible powers that he had, and his ability to trust and put his faith in you. We pray today you'd help us to have loads of fun as we play games, as we do challenges, as we worship, ultimately becoming heroes of the faith ourselves. We pray all of these things in your mighty name. Amen. Amen. Very good, Dan. Well, why don't you get yourself some space, wriggle away from the person next to you, because you're going to need to be really big for this one, because let's sing together. Giants. Here we go. This giant stands in my way like a lion Defying your name but there's nothing That is bigger than you my God You're with me Each step I take moving forward In this battle I face there is nothing With you. 
with you with you Have a few seconds to go and find it or pause the video and then come back. Excellent. Now you have your piece of paper, screw it up. It's quite satisfying. Make a ball out of it. And you throw it in the air, start low and see how high you can get it. Oh, not very high for me. I'll be back in one second. Now, can you throw it from one hand to the other? Excellent. Now, find a soft object, something that will not break. That's very, very important. And put it a few meters in front of you. Can you knock it over with your ball? Ah, yes, first shot. Have a go at that. You can pause the video at any time and carry on with these things or move on. Keep going till you knock him over. Now, if there are two or more of you in your room, if you're in Cable's house and there's lots of you, split your room in half. Half of you stand one side, half of you stand the other side. Okay? An equal number either side and you still have your ball in your hand. On the count of three, you're going to have a, what's called a snowball fight. You're going to throw your balls at each other and you can keep on throwing. You can count for one minute to see how well you go, which team throws the most snowballs. After a minute, stop and count each side. I'm going to leave you to get on that. Are you ready to throw your snowballs? Five, four, three. Two, one, snowball fight! This week's hero of the faith is Stephen, and you can read all about him in chapters 6 and 7 of the book of Acts, which is in the New Testament in your Bible. Stephen was not a mighty warrior who defeated his enemies in battle. What makes Stephen a hero of the faith was that he gave up his own life to stand up for his belief in Jesus. After Jesus had died, the Christian faith grew and grew and spread all across the lands. But there was a disagreement among the Jewish followers and the Greek-speaking followers of Jesus. The Greek-speaking widows were not getting their fair share of food that was given out every day to the poor. A widow is someone whose husband has died and in those days if you didn't have a husband or son or other male relative to look after you then you were going to have a very difficult life. The twelve disciples needed more help in looking after the poorer people so they chose seven more people to help look after those in need and to make sure that everyone who needed help received it. The people they chose had to be full of the Holy Spirit and have lots of wisdom. One of the people they chose was a man named Stephen, who had both of these godly qualities, as well as others such as a strong faith, kindness and patience. He was blessed with the power to perform miracles and was full of grace, which you will hear about later on in the story. Stephen worked really hard looking after the sick, the poor and those in need. He was generous and kind. He knew that following God wouldn't always be easy. He knew that loving God meant standing by what you believe in, even when things get hard, and things did get very hard for Stephen. There were some people who were not so pleased with what Stephen was doing or saying, but God was with Stephen, and whenever someone tried to argue with him, they could never win, because Stephen was so full of wisdom and the Holy Spirit that he always had the best answers. So, as usual, the people against Stephen had to resort to trickery and cheating to get what they wanted. They gave people money to lie, to say that Stephen had been saying terrible things about God 
And so Stephen was arrested and taken away to explain himself to all the leaders. At this meeting, even more people stood up to say that they had heard Stephen speaking against God and all the holy laws. They had all been paid to tell lies. The high priest in charge asked Stephen if this was true. Stephen was very calm and gave the priests a long history lesson, reminding them of all the times God had looked after his people and the miracles he had performed to keep them safe, going back hundreds of years to the time of Abraham. He reminded them of how God had told Abraham to take his family and move to a new country and how he would be the father of many nations. He reminded them how Joseph has, was sold into slavery by his jealous brothers, but God looked after Joseph, giving him great wisdom to be a great leader. He reminded them about how Moses, as a baby, was left in a basket in the river and was rescued by an Egyptian princess who adopted him, and he too became a powerful man of God and was later able to part the Red Sea and lead God's people out of Egypt and into Israel, as well as many other great things. Stephen finished by giving the high priest and those with him a good telling off. He said, you stubborn people, you have not given your hearts to God, nor will you listen to him. You are always against what the Holy Spirit is trying to tell you, just as your ancestors before you were. He reminded them that they had killed Jesus, God's only son. After the leaders had received this turning off, they were furious and the Bible tells us they were gnashing their teeth at Stephen, which is not recommended by a dentist. Stephen remained calm and it says in the Bible he looked just like an angel. At this point, Stephen looked up to heaven and could see Jesus. He told the leaders this, look, I see heaven open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. The leaders were now so stupendously angry with Stephen that they covered their ears so they didn't have to hear him speak and took him out into the city and began to throw rocks and stones at him. Earlier on, we said how Stephen was full of grace and he showed this by having forgiveness for all those that were throwing the rocks and stones and all those who had been paid to tell lies about him, as he continued to pray, Lord, do not hold this against them. The people threw stone after stone, and Stephen prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. As soon as these words were spoken, Stephen died and went to be with Jesus, standing to the side, watching over all of this with great glee, was a man who massively disliked Christians. His name was Saul, and you will hear all about him next week. So we know that Stephen loved serving God, but how can we serve God in our lives today? Let's have a little think. We could share our faith with our friends. We could pray for others like our family and friends and people in other countries who are having really difficult lives. We could spare a few minutes to chat to somebody who's feeling sad and lonely. That can really make a difference to somebody's day. We can help our parents by listening to them when they talk to us and help with things when they ask us. Let's see how we can serve God this week. Welcome to this week's quiz. You know the drill by now, I've got 10 statements for you. If you think the answer is true, you're going to run on the spot. If you think the answer is false, you're going to do some star jumps. Are you ready? Dan, are you ready? He's ready. Here we go. Statement 1. You can read about Stephen in the book of Acts in the Old Testament. Do you think it's true? Or false? Dan thinks it's false. You think it's false? You're right, it's false. You can read about Stephen in the book of Acts, but that's in the New Testament. Statement two. Stephen was a professional warrior and he had all the skills to defeat his enemies. Is that true or false? What do you think, Dan? Dan thinks it's false. You're right, it's false. He actually gave up his own life to stand up for his belief in Jesus. Statement three. 
the disciples chose seven more people to help those who were poor and in need. Is that true? Or false? Dan thinks it's true. You think it's true? You're right, it's true. Well done, statement four. The people the disciples chose had to be good at carrying food. Is that true? Or false? What do you think? Dan thinks false. Your right, it's false. They had to be full of the Holy Spirit and they had to have lots and lots of wisdom. Statement five. Stephen was blessed with the power to perform miracles and he was generous and he was kind. Is that true or false? Think about it, Dan, what do you think? Dan thinks it's true. You're right, it's true. Statement six. Stephen knew that loving God meant standing by what he believed in. Is that true? Or false, Dan already thinks he knows this one. What do you think, Dan? True? You're right, it's true. Well done. Statement seven. Stephen didn't know what to say when people asked him questions about God. Do you think that's true? Or false? Dan's having a think. Dan thinks it's false. You're right, Dan, it's false. Stephen was full of wisdom and always gave the best answers to the questions people asked. Statement eight. The people against Stephen used trickery and bribery to try to trap him. Is that true or false? What do you think, Dan? Do you think it's false? Do you think it's false? What do you think? You're right, it's true. I'm lucky on that one there, Dan. You're right, it's true. Statement nine. The leaders hated Stephen and they threw rocks and stones at him as they just wanted him dead. Is that true or false? What do you think? Dan thinks that's false as well. What do you think? You're right, that's true. You're wrong again, Dan. That's two in a row wrong. Unlucky. And finally, statement 10. Stephen was full of grace and forgiveness and prayed at the end and asked Jesus to receive his spirit. Is that true? You think you know, Dan, or false? Dan thinks it's true. You're going to end on a good one. You're right. It's true. Well done. So I think that was eight out of 10 for Dan. How did you get on? I hope you got 10 out of 10 this week. Well done. And we'll see you very soon for another quiz. Take care. Welcome to today's Katie's Craft Challenge. So we've been learning about Stephen. Now Stephen was a great hero of the faith. He performed miracles, he was gracious, he was kind, he followed Jesus and he stood up for him when it was really difficult. He was a true hero of the faith. And we too can be heroes of the faith. Let's remind ourselves with, of that with a superhero craft. So here's the things that you'll need. A white piece of paper, your superhero printout which you can get from the church Facebook page, some coloured pencils, some scissors, a pencil to draw with and a glue stick. First things first, you want to create your background. Now this background is going to be the sky. I'm choosing to draw some clouds and maybe add something extra to this, but you can do whatever you like really. You could make it a stormy sky with some lightning bolts coming from your clouds. You could even start with a coloured piece of paper and do a collage of a sky. Maybe you could add some aeroplanes or some hot air balloons. You could do a sunrise or a sunset. I'm going to add some colour to mine. I'm not going to colour in the whole sky blue. Just a little hint keep it creative. Add some details. Really let your creativity flow with this one. I'm going to add a rainbow as a sign of hope. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Take your superhero printout and choose which one you want to use. Colour it in. I'm going to give this girl some red and orange hair, I think. I'm 
colouring the whole outfit. Again, use your creativity, it's completely up to you. I think I'm going to go for blue and yellow and a blue cape. Yeah, that looks good, I think. You could even give your superhero a name. Maybe you could come up with a name for my one. The next thing to do is to cut it out. Make sure to get an adult to help you with this if you're struggling. It doesn't have to be super precise though. You then want to get a stick to glue your character to so that it becomes a puppet. Now you can use a lollipop stick, but I'm going to show you how to make a stick from paper. Just simply cut a rectangle. I'm using a piece of scrap paper from the sheet that I cut my character out of. Fold it into a thin strip over and over again, like this. And then you just want to glue that side down, like so. Then you want to glue it to the back of your character. Now the character needs to be on a diagonal so that it looks like it's flying through the sky. Bit of glue on the stick and stick it to the back. Now you've created your little puppet. Take your background and you're going to fold it in half with the short sides together. Make a light fold like this. You then want to take your scissors and cut from the folded side up the paper, but make sure you stop a few centimeters before you get to the other side. So you can see here, I've stopped a few centimeters short of that other side. So that's what it should look like. When you open it out, you should have a nice slit in the middle of your paper. This is where your puppet's gonna go. Take your character and slot it behind the flap, like so. And then you can use it to move your character across the sky like they're flying. Thanks so much, Andrea, for telling us all about Stephen. Wow, Stephen really was a hero of the play. Someone who was full of grace and wisdom and kindness and generosity and the power to perform miracles. Some serious superpowers. And you know, even when those leaders were throwing rocks and wanted him dead, Stephen still forgave them. You know, like Andrea said, Stephen was an amazing hero who showed his faith in Jesus at all times. How do you think? that you could show your faith and serve God this week. Hmm. Let's spend a minute thinking about some of the things that you could try this week. I hope that's given you some ideas of how you could serve God this week. Let's pray about the things that you've been thinking. Lord, we thank you so much for the opportunity to have Discovery Kids Online, to have learned about Stephen and some of his incredible powers, the fact that he was kind and generous and full of grace and full of wisdom. And we pray this week that you'd help us to be just like that too. Help us with some of those ideas that we've been thinking, thinking about talking about Jesus with our friends, praying about situations that are difficult, helping our parents, worshipping you. Help us this week in everything that we try to do to serve you better and help us to have a great week in everything that we do. In your mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, that's all we've got time for this week. Next week, we're looking at another hero of the faith. Getting really good at those pauses, Dan. Someone called Saul. Well, you might actually know him as Paul. But we'll tell you a little bit more about that. Very soon. Oh, Dan, he's got something to tell us. Oh, he's got something to say. What is it, Dan? Come. Yeah, that's right. If you've not been back and joined us for Discovery Kids in person, we'd love to see you here in Cable's house. If you've not come before, get a grown-up to book you in. Just go to www.livecc.org.uk forward slash booking. You can put all your details in there and we would love to see you. Come and hang out with us. We get to enjoy the stream together, play loads of games, do loads of different activities, and there's even some pretty good snacks. And Dan's there too, so it's well worth coming. 
We'd love to see you if you can make it at some point soon. Well, let's finish with a brand new memory verse. Dan's been working hard on this one. I hope you're going to learn it really soon and be able to get something from Dan's prize box. So off you go, Dan, and get ready to tell everybody. And we will see you all very, very soon. Have a great week serving God in whatever you do. Take care. Bye. You dear children are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. 1 John chapter 4 verse 4.